Hey everybody, it's Karen from Order for Colleagues. Welcome to my mess. Uh, <laughs> this is a fail on a 20 inch round um, that I filmed and it was like 40 minutes long. So I just deleted that video, um, scraped the painting and just took put it all in the middle and then respread it out. So this is a combination of house paint and the Shelly Art pouring medium, um, which I'll just put up on the screen rather than going through all that again. And what I'm about to do is I'm going to try to use that pouring medium and do a sandwich pour with it. So Lord knows how that's gonna turn out. And I am probably an idiot for trying to attempt a brand new uh, pouring medium on such a large canvas, but I don't know. Go big or go home, I guess. So um, I, I will tell you my colors real quick. I am using with the Shelly Art pouring medium, um, mostly golden fluid acrylics, except for this one, which is Deco Art. I have vermilion. I have golden cronacridone burnt orange. I have some golden cobalt turquoise. And finally, I have a blue, which is the anthraquinone blue. So those are my fluid acrylics mixed in with my Shelly or pouring medium. You just squirt it in. There is no like two to one ratio until you get the color you want. Um, and you don't add need to add water or anything because basically you're just adding some color to untinted house paint. So anyway, this is a cup of titanium white from Amsterdam mixed with three to one ratio of Floetrol with three drops of Minwax pre-stain wood conditioner. It's smelly, y'all, just FYI. So I'm gonna pour, I'm not gonna use a lot of paint because I got all this paint down on the canvas. And look at it selling off everywhere. Yes, so we didn't do that before. So I'm gonna just put a big old layer of white first. We're gonna add the remaining colors. I'm very cognizant of my workspace because uh, I'm dangerously close to the edge. I'll do show and tell at the end. So we're gonna start there. Kill off the cut. This is it too, because I'm gonna be out of paint. There's the uh, cobalt turquoise. We'll put the I'm going to borrow this stick a second and do the orange next. There's a million. They look great together. And then we'll do the blue. blue left and then I'm going to kind of go easy on this burnt orange because it's so strong. So leave a little in the cup and now another layer of white. And oh uh, gosh, bottoms up y'all. Clean up my mess a little bit. I did an experiment. Um, maybe I, it's not totally deleted. I might call back the uh, 45 minute one and uh, splice together the first half with this half. Because um, then it has show and tell at the beginning. We'll see. We'll see what this video looks like at the end. Um, only because I did do a 12 inch round earlier that came out kind of great um, that's sitting behind me. So let's see what happens here first. All right, I'm just gonna take it side, kind of sideways and then drag it. And that really didn't work very well, did it? Put 
Jason's paint there. Tons of lacing. My hands are a wreck, so I'm just going to go for it. Uh, keep my uh, tarp off the canvas. I had to bend it over because I was worried about paint leaking. That's really cool. So it's a flip cup. I I don't even mind this. Maybe I just have this be in the middle and leave it and leave this like be all soft oceany looking. I don't know. Doesn't seem to be moving. I have a gap of canvas right there. So I gotta get to that. So maybe I just take these and just have it be kind of in the middle. That might be pretty. This is gorgeous right now. Gorgeous. I say. It's part cells, part lacing. Right there. So let's just stretch it out to the edge. And take some of it off. Something like that. And then bring it back and run the other way. Get some coverage going. It's gonna stretch it all out, especially this other end. And I'm just gonna take all that off, all the way. All right, bring it back. Let's bring everything back to the middle for a second. Well, for a, um, pretty vivid for a uh, sandwich pour, the white was like, yeah, I feel like it. It's kind of like an oasis. Let me... I guess I need to stretch it out a little bit this way, right? Rather than just leave a band. And plus, I gotta, I gotta lose paint somewhere. I love this though, and I like this. Always like some sort of dilemma. Uh, let me go this way first, I guess. are slipping. I'm going to dig my fingernails in. Sorry. And then we'll bring it back this way. I feel like I'm looking at it upside down. So let me, let me, uh, Flip this around the other way. I lost a cookie cutter somewhere. Can I hold on to this one? Where'd it go? Oh, they're both at the other end. <laughs> hold on. Let's take you, Mr. Cookie Cutter, and put you way over there. One, two. Oh, the third one's stuck. Okay. So you need to go back. And then that one would be right there. Okay. Now it's, uh, it's a mountain. <laughs> it's kind of cool, though, my little mountain. Uh, huh. Huh. Well. I don't want all the lacing to get too, too wonky. That's the other thing. I'm gonna take some more off this one side. That's what we'll do, we'll just stretch it out. So go buy pretty lacing on that side. And some on that side, kind of straighten it out. Bring it down a little, stretch it out a little, put it in the center. Oh my gosh. We got the island chain at the bottom. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. 
That's what I say. I'm, I'm gonna still lose. I don't like how it, I don't like this little part. I'm gonna lose that and then I'm gonna be done. And I'm gonna say ta-da, I think. We'll see. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Cause it'll stretch it out a little more and I can also get rid of a little more paint. So. We will just go straight off, off, and off, and then back. Oh yeah, that just opened up everything. That was a good call. Didn't hurt my islands down below. It's got like a snowy mountaintop thing going on with the white. Make sure it's on all my cookie cutters. It's upside upside down for you guys, isn't it? That's okay. Do I want to take it to the top? Do I want to go up this way? I don't think I do. Right thing. And bring it down. I'm just flattening with the composition a little bit. Oh, ta -da! Not touching it. Oh my god, not touching it. My hands are a mess. Um, yeah, this was supposed to be the follow-on video um, from the last one from the other day, and. Uh, Confession time. I just got too tired. I'm like, yeah, so it's really like two days later so I can show you the results um, Of what I did so um, One lesson learned that you guys didn't see that I will want to tell you about let me rinse off my hands And then I'll tell you so that you guys don't do this Okay, sorry for that little delay. So the first, the first take that I, you know, that 45 minute video, I had done um, a pour, it was the same deal. I had my house paint down, I layered my cup, and just like the last video where it took me three tries to get a final result, I was adding house paint uh, to the cup. So it was the layer of the cell activator, which is the titanium white, and then my colors and then house paint on top so that when you flipped it, it would be the same as a Shelly or bloom. Um, and I discovered, I tried to do it with house paint on the bottom. Don't do that. Nothing happens at all. It doesn't work. I then tried it um, the original way, like I just explained with the titanium white colors and house paint and it was okay-ish. What's super successful is just putting the house paint down on your canvas and when you go to layer your cup, forget about house paint. Don't put it in your cup. Just use your cell activator and the colors and it is lacing galore. Lacing, if you like lacing, that's how you get lacing, guaranteed every single time. So that's probably what I'm gonna call this video. And there you have it, even with the sandwich pour layered with white and all the colors, it's still it's still gonna lace up. This looks amazing. Let me get, oh, let me uh, drop this down at least a little closer and then I'll show my face. So this video is all discombobulated. <laughs> so there's a little close up for a second and I'll, I'll pop the uh, thing off. But um, where am I? Let me show my face, such as it is. It's a really like cold rainy day here. Oops, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm 
Yes. We were going to go see uh, Frozen. At first, my daughter was like, I don't want to see Frozen. I'm 13. And uh, 20 minutes went by, and she was like, yeah, I really want to see it because, you know, i got to find out what happened. And we laughed at her. So we're going to do that tomorrow. It was really, you had to be here. It was funny. Um, so, hi. I'm <laughs> Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Um, so yeah, there's my sandwich pour. I told you not what to do. I did wanted to show you since it is two days later, the results from the last video, which is this pour here. Uh, congrats to Sarah Mack. She bought it. I almost don't want to sell it. No, I'm just kidding, Sarah. <laughs> so super, super uh, pretty. Um, let me get you up close. There's like the bottom section. Uh, I was asking people for names and there was a bunch of names I liked, but it's her painting. She can name it now. Um, and there's like really fine lines running through this middle section. I love that side there, but then I love this pop of color. The whole thing, it's just, it's, it came out really great and it dried super fast. Now remember, you're basically just using essentially all house paint. So even with a little bit of Floetrol and the cell activator, these are drying, like dry, dry. Like I can stick my nail in it dry um, in a day or two. So I'm only probably gonna wait a week and then uh, resin this for her and ship it off. So congrats to her. And then uh, just real quick, my next video, um, I got a couple requests from people on um, who wrote to me on Etsy saying, we saw your auction, we saw boxes, you don't have any boxes in your shop, the little purse boxes. And so I thought I was done making balloons, but you know, the holidays are coming and I get it, people want things. So I'm gonna make three or four more boxes of those purse boxes. Um, I have a clock commission, I'm gonna make a couple more clocks and that'll all be up uh, on Etsy. So I'll film that so it's up there in early December for, for holiday shopping, so. Anything else? That's it. <laughs> Let me pop you down to show you. Um, I'm just going to post this part of the video because the other part, um, I'll show you real quick. The first thing you, you missed. This is the one you missed, which again was no house paint in the cup. And it just literally poured out nothing but lacing. So if you're a lacing person, that is definitely the uh, way to go. So there's that one. And I'm swinging back over to the one we just did. You saw it up high. Here's up close of all the lacing. I kind of got a little wonky in the middle for me stretching, but that's okay. It looks cool. It looks wavy. So I don't mind that at all. And just like the gradient of color looks great. And then I like how it's uh, kind of faded down here, there's my little chain of islands. Really kind of cool. And this, uh, this is a 20 inch round that I'm gonna like clean up because man, it's just so precarious on my little kitchen island. So that's it. Let me come down here real close for a second. Like the top part with the deep blue is just, this is gorgeous. And it just really pops with the, the background. And I love that the background isn't just stark white, that there's um, some soft colors underneath. So yeah, a sandwich pour with a ton of lacing. Yay! All right, where am I? I'm gonna go in and uh, enjoy my weekend with my family, hang out, have some tea I made my first batch of cookies. So, you know, three dozen cookies. Anybody want one? <laughs> I'll see you guys uh, during the week sometime. Take care. Bye-bye.